This is breaking news. Just minutes ago, the Texas Attorney General announced he is filing a notice of appeal after a federal judge once again threw out the state voter ID law, ruling that the policy still discriminates against African Americans and Latinos. Now, the law required voters to show one of several approved forms of photo ID in order to cast a ballot. So, with the very latest, we now have exclusive reaction. The Texas Attorney General joins us. Ken Paxton is, is with us right now. Uh, Thank you, sir, once again for coming on. It's always good to talk to you. And I know this press release I literally just received in your announcement of the filing. So, first of all, give us your argument here in the case that you're now making on appeal. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on. But it, this is simple. The, the legislature passed a, a legitimate uh, voter ID law. We know that across the nation, Americans understand that the photo ID is used at airports, it's used at hotels. As a matter of fact, this, own, this judge actually requires photo ID to go into her courtroom. So. Our argument is simple, that this is a legitimate act of the legislature. This is not discriminatory. The, the Fifth Circuit gave us a roadmap to, to making some changes, and we did right. that. And we think when we get to the Fifth well, that's Circuit... that's the key, uh, as far as I read it anyway, is that you were asked to make some changes after initially passing the law. And the court then ruled that you did not, in their words, meaning, meaningfully expand the types of photo IDs that can qualify. For example, they say Texas does not permit federal or Texas state government photo IDs, even those that it issues to its own employees. So they say you didn't go far enough, right? Well, we offer seven different forms of ID. That wasn't really the issue with the Fifth Circuit. The Fifth Circuit wanted an affidavit, and they wanted the uh, cost to, be, to basically be zero. The legislature made those changes. We reacted to what the Fifth Circuit said, and I'm confident that the Fifth Circuit will rule in our favor when we get there. We're not surprised by this judge's ruling. She thought it was a poll tax last time. It was struck down for... For, she was struck down for saying it was a poll tax. So we're not surprised by this ruling, and we're expecting to win in the Fifth Circuit. So your point is, the judge, by the way, an Obama appointee, your point is that this is just a political ruling? That's, at the, that's a big part of the argument, I guess? Absolutely. This is a judge that's not focused on the law. This is her opinion. We think she's absolutely wrong. It's not her job to make the law. That's the legislature. And we're ready to take the Fifth Circuit. We're very confident that we'll be successful there. But just so I understand the changes you made, which changes did you make and why did you not go to the specific lengths that they say you needed to go to? In other words, so where, so, where's the, uh, something doesn't seem to line up to me, but explain it. Well, no, we went to the specific lengths that the Fifth Circuit uh, suggested, oh, okay. not what, what the district judge said. So we, the, the legislature this last session passed a requirement that, that if somebody does not have a photo ID, that they can sign an affidavit saying that they didn't have the ability to get one, and that the, the person that they say they are, and then they can vote. And so that was the suggestion of the Fifth Circuit. We followed that. We changed the law. And so we're, that's why we're so confident. We did exactly what the Fifth, Cir Fifth Circuit suggested. And uh, this judge had a different opinion. That's fine. Okay. And now the next part of the ruling, this appeal goes where specifically? So we made an appeal to the Fifth Circuit. Um, and we'll see what happens there. I will draw a three judge panel likely there. Last time we had the whole court. We'll see what happens. But that's where, that, that's where it'll be. It'll be in the Fifth Circuit. Before I wrap this up, give me just one big picture answer on what the goal is in all of this. Obviously, the opponents of it say that it's, um, it discriminates. I mean, you know that. That's the argument. That's what this court case is essentially about. But uh, what do you want to accomplish? Well, so that argument never made sense. I was in the legislature when we passed this. I can tell you that, that our focus was on voter integrity and eliminating fraud. And so, as you know, in all types of situations, transaction, photo ID is the way to prevent fraud. We do it in financial transactions. We do it when you're trying to go into the airport. We do it all over the country. No one is surprised that photo ID is required everywhere else. But in one of the most precious things that we have, which is the right to vote, suddenly that's, that's a problem. And I, it never made sense to me, and I don't really think that's accurate.